What is good ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy JPIN88 here and I'm coming at y'all with an update in terms of the Sonic Speedrun Charity Marathon as well as ideas heading into the remainder of 2023. I actually have a couple of items that are still coming in through as we speak and especially as I'm posting this video. So two big ones to really note are two consoles and main reason behind these two even though i had done a couple of practice runs with both of these respective consoles through emulators is that you know had a lot of thinking involved in terms of like what i really wanted to do at first and as much as i enjoy really running a lot of the games on the emulator i just really said to myself i was like you know what the idea behind the first uh the first console uh which by the way i'm not really gonna say like what these consoles are to be exact but i will say both of these consoles are Sega consoles, so these are actually both my first Sega owned consoles, which is gonna actually be pretty exciting. You know, the story behind the reason why I got the first one, long story short, a record that I had, a world record that I had in a specific game for this specific console had recently gotten beaten, I'm pretty sure it was earlier this month, if not last month, can't really remember the date to be exact, but I was looking at this and then it was like, well, I definitely want to run it back instantly, but then I just got sick and tired of having to like constantly deal with graphic issues with like specific emulators in mind. And the first run I did was on one different emulator, then the second one was on a completely different one, and then the third one I haven't actually ran it back yet because I definitely was like, you know what? If I'm gonna honestly like run this game back, I definitely want to make this one different, so I definitely thought about getting a console this time and there's definitely a lot of games involved with this console that I definitely feel like you know looking back at it I definitely want to run it back and definitely try something different in terms of the second one well there isn't really a story behind it but it's more so that I just honestly got inspired to really get it I am hoping that both of these consoles may come in or at least one of them is going to come in this week, if not guaranteed next week. And they're not going to be, literally be used like, on day one. Because guaranteed though, day one is going to be set on solely, I'm thinking solely just the Genesis games. But it also depends on how quickly I can finish all of them. Because if I do end up finishing all of them pretty quickly, then I'm already set on just like, switching over to the Game Gear titles and like so on and so forth. Speaking of which, in terms of the way that schedule is looking for each day of the marathon, starting day is actually going to be this coming Saturday, which I can't even believe the way that the weeks have really have gone by. It's just like, you know, how close the day is really getting. Respectively, it was based off of the poll that I made earlier this year with the fact that a new Sonic game had gotten announced. And then thought to myself, it was like, well, I think making a poll would honestly be a lot better in this situation so you know I could definitely appreciate a lot of people voting for wanting to start the marathon around the time that this new game is going to be released which by the way as of posting this video as well uh, the game said to be released uh, tomorrow so I'm definitely looking forward to playing it as I'm pretty sure a lot of people out there are pretty much looking forward to playing it and I'm definitely going to be doing a, a lot of gameplay for this one. I'm going to include this game in the marathon. I think for this entire week, it's looking like I'm just going to put my focus towards uh, Sonic Superstars. Yeah, just the way that things have been this past week, um, in terms of just trying to get everything together, uh, still got a lot of things coming through. Uh, minor accessories here and there. Like, I'm currently in the process as well, like moving some things around in my room just to create more space so i'm also thinking as well like in terms of the only xbox 360 game being sonic free riders now in terms of all the games itself there is an exception of there being two games being skipped uh, both of those games being sonic schoolhouse and sonic game world the reason with sonic schoolhouse technically 
I was able to get the game to work. But I kept having problems trying to get the game to work on window mode and it kept only showing up on full screen. I'm not really sure why. It kept giving me problems and I just felt like I really couldn't be bothered honestly like try it again if I wanted to. As far as um, Sonic Game World goes, tried this out on three different emulators and for some odd reason just couldn't seem to get past the title screen. I'm not really sure what was up to with the controls or how the controls honestly had worked so it seemed right then and there I just honestly just like I spent pretty much well over an hour trying to figure out how I could have gotten the game to work but again only got stuck on the title screen if there's anybody out there that knows how to actually get the game to work let me know in advance because it would mean a lot to actually include the both of these games respectively now I'm not gonna lie uh this past week especially last week um Energy wasn't honestly there um, as much as I was hoping, you know, I wanted this final weekend or I wanted this weekend, this past weekend, to try and do at least five practice runs. Couldn't find the energy to honestly continue to do a third practice run alone. Came up with the idea of wanting to do in five, but then it got cut down to four. And then ended up getting cut down to three and then lo and behold just only ended up doing two in the process but it was also in terms of really trying to create a fundraiser for the charity that i am going to be doing it for and as well as thinking about incentives and bonus targets so in terms of the charity itself um i figured i would actually want to mention what charity I'm going to be doing this for this Friday is part of the community post. But as far as the, the bonus targets go, or like the incentive, so to say, it's going to be based off of um, specific bonus games. Two specific Sonic games are actually going to be part of those uh, incentives or bonus targets once reaching a certain donation amount, if you know what I mean. Two of which are actually going to be Sonic 3 Knuckles and as well as Sonic 4 Episode Metal. But then another two games worth noting are ones that are actually outside of the Sonic series but are actually part of Sonic Maker Collection which by then you might already have the indication of what games those are going to actually be. So I'm still trying to think of ideas for uh, more incentives so if any of you guys happen to have any sort of ideas by all means let me know and I'll definitely think about including them. Now, the run that I did with Triple Trouble I had actually finished on Wednesday trying to find the energy to try and do a practice run with the remaining Game Gear titles. I wasn't originally thinking of doing a practice run with Tail Sky Patrol though. And the only reason I say that is because it's a pretty short game and um, I didn't really see a whole point to really doing any practice with that. So I'm thinking some games that I did not do a practice run on might end up being played casually. Well, semi-casually for the most part. I'm thinking it's, it'll be fine. You know because I'm still gonna be exploring a lot of these looking back at all of the practice runs that I've done throughout this year though should have actually tried to start doing double the practice the beginning of summer at most that way I'm thinking it would have at least covered at least maybe about 70 I'm thinking maybe about 70 titles at most uh, which would have been almost all of the games itself but I think in terms of the ones that are going to be played on emulators, so basically the ones here noted are Knuckles Child Takes, Sonic Eraser, Sonic Rivals 1 and 2, and Sonic Pocket Adventure. That might have also have been another hint that I might have just given away in terms of what the consoles that I am getting are going to be, so I still going to get the games for it. And it's not like, like these consoles are going to be used like right away on day one. I am gonna be making a uh, I am gonna be making a community post this Friday, just to also indicate, I guess, another recap. Another thing worth noting, though, is that I'm actually in talks with a couple of graphic artists because I actually want to try ideas that I have in terms of like stream over overlays. So, ones that I have used in the past, though, I don't think I actually have anymore. So, I want to make these stream overlays actually stand out in comparison to all the ones that I've had in the past. So, the way that each day is going to go, um, I figured I have this idea in my head of like, the way that the first few days are going to work out. So, day one 
is gonna be starting this Saturday, right? And then day two may possibly be on Tuesday or possibly Sunday, though it's Sunday is really questionable. Um, but then right next to that, though, it could possibly be Wednesday as well. Like, day three may possibly be on Wednesday. In terms of, like, the days that are going to be available, it's looking like from my schedule, from my schedule, it's looking like it's going to be between Saturday and Wednesday, guaranteed. But Thursday and Friday are probably the most questionable because I'm usually out and about by then. Now, the only reason I'm not saying Monday is because by then, there's two things happening on Monday by then. Number one, SHC 2023 contest week is opening up. I usually want to put a lot of my focus towards wanting to cover as many entries from the contest week. Which, speaking of which, as I'm posting this as well, the trailer is, I believe, supposed to come out today? Which, I'm not 100% sure of. And then contest week is starting next Monday. So... Like I said, I want to try and put a lot of my focus towards covering as many entries for the contest. I'm definitely looking forward to SHC 2023 uh, next week when the contest week opens up. Also something I actually forgot to mention, still going to be working on Halloween session, which no I haven't actually forgotten, though I've been putting a lot of focus towards this marathon. Just actually started, uh, just actually started doing a couple beats. Uh, we'll say though, in advance, that this Halloween session is actually going to be completely fresh. Four completely new samples. Uh, one of which is actually, um, highly requested by a lot of you guys. Which, yeah, still thinking of a couple of ideas to do with that. If you may not know what it is, I know this is probably going to be a spoiler for one of the four. But, uh, yeah, so one of which is actually going to be Sonic 2 Mystic Cave. But yeah, that aside though. I'm gonna leave everything up to this Friday's community post. I know there's probably gonna be a lot to probably be said on it. But um, yeah, I just wanted to make a quick update of where everything is at in terms of the marathon. Yeah, still a lot to pretty much put together, but you know what? At the end of the day, I'm still gonna try and put in as much effort as I can to pretty much finish everything. So, that being said, see your boy signing out, and peace.